Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Onion Monkey, and back again with another video. And I'm gonna be showing you how I made these beats today, guys. So, guys, this is Afro Pop. It's um, it's basically like an Afro beats vibe with a lot of R&B vibes on it too. <laughs> you know, so it's quite simple, really. I got some R&B sounds I like, some chords and. I layered them out and I put some Afro beats drums in it and that's what we have here basically so I'm going to show you the chord progression of this beat and I'm going to show you all the different instruments as you can see this, this beat is night I just have four patterns so this particular beat is like 90% samples and a few instruments you know A few instruments to just like um to layer on top of the main vibes you know so this was the first sound you know and after i did that let me show you like um, I have an EQ. I have an EQ. All the lows are out totally, like compressed it a bit, and I put some reverb and made it a bit wide because it's like a pad. You feel me? So this was the second instrument, and it's a guitar. So it's a reverse guitar. It's a reverse effect on the guitar, but it has this gritty sound that I like. You know, it has this um a bit of distortion on it and a bit of noise, but it's not it kind of fits the vibe anyways. So those two instruments at the beginning of everything, right? And then I put these layers. You know, this is <laughs> So you see, the stereo separation is an effect I use almost every time, and it's very, very important because it separates sound and it creates space in your beats. You know, your drums, in my opinion, should be at the center. Like, your drums should not, you don't need to separate your drums too much. You can do a bit of panning to the left or to the right. But you know, see, this stereo separation is very important for pads, leads. All those kind of things pad leads and you know vocal chops and all that so it helps give the beat space for other sounds you see so when i had these stuffs together i, w I started building on drums right and i just put this sample because this is from uh, my next sample pack i don't know when i'm gonna drop this one yet <laughs> i want to have like a decent amount of downloads and the first one I dropped then I'll probably drop this one also so I put this So guys, really simple bounce. You know, this is the beauty of Afrobeats. Like when you have built a, a decent amount of instrumentals, you can literally export your patterns and just put them in your normal sample library. And you can drag them and use them in other projects once again. So when I had this bounce, I added the bass. I put the bass at the intro, you know, to build up that vibe. 
it went into the first verse and the first verse is just kind of like you know makes it a bit laid back and that's how you do it like these days with arrangements of afro pop songs so guys let's hear what the bass sounds like at the intro then we move to the verse and see what these other two instruments sound like <laughs> sweets guys like i love r&b music so much so it was a no-brainer when i had all these samples it came from the same pack actually and i think this is um probably somatics if i'm not mistaken i'm not 100 percent sure honestly i've forgotten but you know these two other instruments i put them at the verse bass comes in so let me show you what the bass sounds like the bass is um it's a patch from Supon bass, really decent VST and has a lot of bass sounds and sounds like this and looks like this. So guys, you know, sounds dope, sounds heavy. That's how you want your sub bass to sound, you feel me? And in fact, I need to save this patch because I really like it. So let me just save that real quick. Uh, let me see what I'm going to save this as. Nice sub bass, yeah. So guys, that's it for the verse and the hook switch up the bass pattern to make the hook sound different and we have these drum fills that come in for the hook so like i always say the drops are really important and you have to put the effects and you have to put the drum fails you have to create the space so that when you're transitioning from one section of the beat to the other section it moves smoothly and it sounds nice so <laughs> So guys, this is the unique thing about the hook, the bass pattern, and this vocal chop right here. So the bass for the hook is different. The wrist bass sounds really nice and it just gives the beat the dynamics it needs because 
that's basically what music is all about like the dynamics moving changing there's a bounce on the verse there's a bounce on the pre-hook and there's a bounce on the bass and they all sound and there's a bounce on the hook rather you know there's a bounce on the verse the pre-hook and the hook like they all sound kind of unique so it helps when the song writer is writing and it has you know different feels at different part you can arrange it in such a way that it's like because this part doesn't have so much instruments then the instruments come in then the kind of climax is here so you can write you can it makes it easy for the songwriter and it makes it easy for the songwriting process so guys that's basically it you know we have the drum loops let me play the drum loops together so you see what they sound like together As you can see, I don't always follow rules. Like, I do what sounds nicest to my ears 90% of the time when I'm making music. Sometimes I allow my snares hit minus three. I don't think I've ever allowed my snares to reach. I don't think I, I put and allow any instrument to get to minus zero, though. You know, but I just tend to. Most times I put my kick on minus three, like straight up. You feel me? And sometimes I can allow my snares hit minus three also, or minus six. That's just my own vibe, and it works. It sounds good. Like I've sent my stuff to world class engineers, and they have no complaints whatsoever. You just kind of do the technicalities, like the technical aspect. So that's the point of production. Production is not engineering. I see a lot of producers like doing the most and when they're just trying to mix a basic snare like bro you don't need to be doing all those excessive mixing techniques <laughs> so because you're making a beat like except you're also like an engineer an engineer but people should i feel like people should do their own thing and allow others to do their own thing so yeah the producer engineers but a lot of us are actually just producers and the mixing thing you need to just you need to train your ears to know how to mix as a producer you know and it takes time and it takes experience also so it's, as you can see i don't really have crazy effects i have i have a decent amount of um external effects but they are effects i use for specific purposes if i don't need to use them i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put any spam fancy effects plugin just because i want to do that it's if it's necessary so there are a lot of stock plugins fl studio comes with they do perfectly well to get your beats to sound right you just need to know how to use them properly you feel me so that is i think we're almost done so i'm just going to show you this is the bridge and there's an outro and basically this is a really simple beat and i don't think this took me too so much time yeah, this took me about two hours to do it from start to finish and to arrange everything. So yeah, I'm gonna play the bridge and I'm gonna play the outro and then it's a wrap, guys. So this is what it sounds like coming from the second verse to the bridge and to the outro. <laughs>
so as you can see it's a, it's the hook actually but what we do is the hook is the outro so the hook is coming once and there's a bridge it's a really short beat actually it's just about two minutes 40 seconds so it's really really short in fact one would even probably take this here and just um double this hook so the hook comes in once then it comes in again and so it serves as the outro so actually that's what we're going to do and i've already done that haha <laughs> so you just copy the hook and you allow it to play once and you put it again and you put the automation on the master for the volume to fade out and the beat is is ready the beat is done so guys um that's gonna be it for today hope you learned something hope you liked the video um please like comment share your opinions and your suggestions and if you have any specific questions feel free to comment and let me know what you want to talk about and till we meet again guys safe <laughs>